so I got these stickers for sticker meal. fishing lures for fishing meal in tail waters and murky water in general. Um, do it a little different than a lot of other, other people. So it's uh, what I like to use are underspin lures. Uh, go check them out. Uh, these ones are Northlands. Um, they come in a two pack like that, and they're about three dollars for two. Also, I've also used uh, VMC before, but I prefer these because they're much cheaper. So I'll take some thread and just tie an overhand knot. And I'll tie it on the on the lure. And I'll just wrap this thread around a few times. And chop off the tag end right there. I'm using this double braided fender line, which I saw on Richard Jean's um, fishing channel where he makes car lures. This stuff is about $12 for, I think it's maybe six feet of rope. Before that, I, I used this mason line from Walmart. And I got this whole roll for, I think it was $1.80. Um, when you're using this, you just have to cut a whole lot of small strands and bundle them up. You can see the difference in size. So it'll take quite a few of these mason lines to equal one of these. This is just quicker and easier, but it is a lot more expensive. But I'm gonna show you with this stuff. Cut about six inches there. You can trim it down later if it's too long. Thread your hook through there. Just use it around. Doesn't matter if it's straight, like you're not uh, trying to do a worm on this. And then you just wrap this thread around as tight as you can. And now I take some uh, crazy glue or Loctite, whatever you have, and I just put it on, put it on those threads that you just wound around, and this will prevent them from unwinding and keep this whole head all together. And just let that dry for a minute, and then you move on. While it's drying, you can unwind this outer layer. Here's a pro tip for you. Um, when you're working with that crazy glue, if you get some on your hands, just wet your hands and then it uh, won't stick to anything. I've got the outer layer unrolled. Then here's my inner layer. Take your thread and now wrap it around the inner layer. There's this little, um, this little metal piece that holds your trailer on. Make sure you get around that. And this will keep the whole thing from sliding up and down. Because when you get the gar on, it's going to it's going to want to move around.
All right. And just glue that in place as well. Did not untangle this inner layer, inner braid, while I wait for that glue to dry. And now pull it all back. and wrap your wrap it around at the top again try get right behind the head it's a little hard to see but just kind of hitch it on there and I like to do that twice okay and glue that last piece one more time This, you can tidy up this piece around the head by just melting that with a lighter. So I've melted the, all those loose strands around the head and make sure this, this underspin can uh, still move around freely. Now you're just going to brush it out. As you can see, I've been making a lot of these lures. Okay, now it's all s separated pretty much. So I make the lure a bit longer and I'll throw this out there if they're not hitting the length of the lure that you're tossing out there try shorten it up and that'll sometimes get a bite like I'd actually I would go so far as to cut it that short if I'm not getting any bites but I'll do it a little at a time and then another thing that I like to do with this that a lot of other people don't do is I keep a hook on there and you can actually throw a trailer hook on the back of this hook and that can improve your hookup percentages um, I don't usually resort to that but what I do a lot is I'll thread a worm on there or a piece of cut bait and that'll sometimes help a lot actually um, but it's not always necessary it just depends on how the how the bite is that day. Another thing, this one time, I caught this gar and it bit my it bit my hand and my finger was bleeding really bad. So what I did, I didn't have anything to wipe it off on, so I just wiped it on the lure and the lure was covered in my blood and 
the next cast I tossed it out there and a gar hit it right away so I think if you try that I mean if you're bleeding it doesn't hurt but yeah there's my lure so I use that mainly in uh, tail waters with current but uh, also in any sort of murky water where you can actually see the gar because a lot of the the people that make these lures they sight fish for the gar but in Iowa there's in Iowa it's pretty tough to sight fish for them because um, most of the water is pretty murky and you can't really you can't really see them like you'll see them surface a bit and then you just throw your lure like one or two yards in front and that, they'll hit them but a lot of the times they're down underneath I've actually had them uh, hit right on the very bottom um, like 10 feet under water on a one eye one time so they're right down there even they don't just hang out at the surface like everybody thinks but yeah that's my lure and here's some of the fish I've been catching with them including my uh, master angler that I got Seven inches? Yeah. 47 inches. Nice. Check out the top of his uh, beak there. That's kind of weird. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here's the lure I'm using. After uh, that guard damaged it. But it's just a 3 8 Nordsland uh, underspin with a uh, I attached a rope to it on the bottom. Uh. Not the prettiest, but it got the job done. Got my master angler. You're so strong. Should I just lift them up like this? You can, if you want to just do a side, yeah, I'll do side view. I'll do one like this. Okay. And then see if I can. Do 
hold them up up uh, more yeah so it looks better do one more like or yeah There we go, looks good. Just some of the gar I caught. I've been chasing them for so long, trying to get that 45 plus gar, and finally I got that 47. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that. So I got a whole bunch of uh, stickers with my logo on it. And uh, if you want one, just uh, ask me for one if you see me out and about, or send me your address to peelingline at gmail.com, and I'll uh, mail one to you. So I got these stickers through Sticker Mule. Um, they've given me a link for um, $10 credit if you use it. And then I, um, I also get $10 if you use the $10. So it's pretty sweet. I'll put a link in the description for that. Uh, go check them out. I put one on my truck. Here's what it looks like.